please help me do this video. Talk in a way that people can understand me and I'm not like super confusing. Okay. Hello ladies. So today my video is mostly a review slash OMG, I can't believe it, slash, I just hope this helps somebody. So, I guess I'll just hop right to it. Okay, so, a year ago, no, not two years ago, back in 2022, in the beginning of 2022, at this point, um, I think it says on here that I ordered it. It says like, fe okay, yeah, February. February 24, 2022 is the date. Well, I guess I didn't order it, but the day that it was made. So, not long before that, I ordered it. Anyways, whatever. <sighs> so, at the beginning of 2022, at this point, I had only had four kids. And this video is going to be a TMI video, but I don't, there we go. I don't know how else to tell you unless I tell you. So as you know, having kids, you lose your, oh, also I wasn't like a very healthy person all these years. I was like a heavy soda drinker. I didn't really eat healthy. I just ate whatever. So my point is that I was not really getting proper nutrition. I wasn't into uh, really into vitamins even uh, or herbs or anything that would actually be good for me. So yeah. After having four kids you know your body changes it loses its elasticity down there and like yeah I'm just gonna stick with that okay like I am dealing like with like some brain fro brain fog so just bear with me and I'm going off of memory and of course I, I like never prepare for my videos I just don't know how to right now. So your body loses its elasticity. So it was getting to the point that like with each kid, definitely by number five, but by number four, I was noticing that right, bef right before I would have to like really go to the bathroom, like a bowel movement, there would be a lot of pressure like it would push down and out of me almost and like it's one of those TMI videos sometimes in order to go to the bathroom you know I'd have to sit on the toilet and like you know get some paper towel and like push up to push <laughs> to have the bowel movement and I did that for a while and it wasn't really that bad I mean it was annoying but it wasn't like so bad Anyways, it was annoying. Uh, but after I had Rosalind, it was like way worse. Way more uncomfortable. And just hold on. It would also be worse like if I wasn't like hydrated. Because, um, you know, my bowel, the bowel movements, I'm assuming everyone's like this. Bowel movements, they would be harder and more challenging to pass so they would kind of like stick there and just weigh there and then I would have to push up for it to come out but if I was pretty hydrated I guess I don't even know I don't know if like minerals and electrolytes played anything into that but I just know that if I was pretty hydrated that it was easier okay got worse after Rosalind so what's funny is I had ordered this in February and there was something in my head that said 
you're going to get this and you're not going to be able to take it because you're going to be pregnant. And then sure enough, I ordered it, I got it, and um, found out I was pregnant with Roslyn. Okay, so I had to wait, you know, I had to go through the whole entire pregnancy before I could take this and was waiting till I, I wasn't breastfeeding anymore. And then I finally was able to uh, give this a try. And it's called McDowell's Phyto, Phytoceuticals. It's got my name. Um, uterine prolapse mix. Now, I don't know if it's like the walls inside that were prolapsing, the uterine, or if it's just like basically all the same muscle. I, I don't know a whole lot about it. <clears throat> But this was the only thing that I could find. Yeah. This was the only thing that I could find to address what I was wanting to address. So I thought, what the heck, I'll buy it. This was $70 and I just went on the website to write down the uh, ingredients and it's like 40 something, almost $50, $50 now. It might not be as big of a bottle, but, uh, so I want to give like, and I didn't even take the full bottle as you can, you can see the liquid is right there. Like that's how much I've taken. So I would like to report on this. So the first day that I took it, I didn't know what to expect. You're supposed to take it like in the morning, in the night, you know, two times a day. So I think I woke up that morning, I took it, and I'm like, okay. I don't know if it was that day or the day after, but I'm pretty sure it was the same day. I did the 30 drops, and by that evening, I, like, I could feel the energy going down there. And I'm like, okay, cool, that means it's working. Um, it's the blood flow, the energy is going down there. But also, unexpectedly, it really, it really got me riled up. I'm going to just tell you, I was not aware that I could still feel that route. Because it's been years. You know, like, I get in the mood here and there. But, like, nothing like this. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Heck yes. So, like, Thomas had to take a whole bunch of stuff, natural stuff or hormones, to catch up with me by the end of that night. Because I was like, I kind of felt like I knew what a guy felt like. Like, they're always in the mood and the woman's not. So, they're just kind of like, <sighs> like, this sucks. What do I do? I'm in the mood, they're not. So anyways, but that only lasted for like, I wanna say for like three days and then just kinda of quit doing that. But then I would say about a week to two weeks, I noticed that when I would need to go to the bathroom, it wasn't doing that thing anymore as bad. It, it, it did tighten it up. I could feel it there, but it just, that was it. It wasn't pushing down. It wasn't so uncomfortable. And I really, I haven't even finished the whole bottle. And I really don't even have to do the, the push up for that, for it to come out to happen. So, and I also noticed, and this was another surprise. I also noticed that when I was taking it, that my breast felt very like plump and like lively like I was very surprised because when I stopped taking it it's like my body went back to feeling like lifeless almost like it's there but lifeless and then I was like hmm so I took it a couple times yesterday or like once yesterday and the day before that, not the one in the morning and one at night. But I took it a couple times and then I started noticing that plump, lively feeling in my chest again. And I was like, 
I'll be dang. Like, this is some really good stuff. And then one last very important detail, which is personal, but I feel like a lot of women could really, really, I don't know. It could come in handy. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, like, without being... Okay, so I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna say it. So now, <laughs> when me and Thomas are together, he says that it definitely changed the, um, yeah. Yeah. I don't really, I don't really know how else to like say that without saying too much but it, he said it definitely improved the tightness. Okay, yeah, the tightness. So, yeah. Yeah, I was not expecting that. I was just expecting, I was just wanting, like, because I noticed after Liam was born, like, my cervix or whatever, when I would, like, squat, it would, like, I don't know if it was my uterus, cervix, or, or what, like, it would just really go down really far and it like it, it like put me in tears after I had Liam because it was so such a drastic change and and then the whole the bowel movement thing started happening to where it would like accumulate and sit there and then push out and I would have to push in for it to go out like that's the only reason I got it I was not expecting all of these nice little very like to a woman, you know, it's confidence. It's, um, it's nice. It's your womanhood. So anyways, I went and wrote down the ingredients that were listed. My giant wording. Horse tail. Raspberry. Elecampane. Ela Camp Paint. I don't know if that's an N or an R. E L E C A M P A. I guess it's an N E. I'll like put it up here. I actually took a screenshot, so I'll just show it. Um, saw, palmetto, oats, rose hips, chamomile, and then the Bach flower remedies, which those things are awesome. I don't know if you've never heard of them. Bach flowers. It's like flower essence, the extract of flowers. They can like do all kinds of things. It can make you like procrastinate less. It can uh, make you face your fears, which I got that one. And like, that's uh, Dylan's favorite one to take. Like anytime I bring him out, I'm like, all right, who wants what? And he's like, I want to face my fears. I'm like, okay, you got a lot of fears apparently. So there's like procrastinate, face your fears, unconditional love, uh, make you more tolerable. I only got like five or six of them, but I would really like to try them all out at some point. Anyways, so in them, and I noticed this too. I didn't notice until I read, but I noticed that when I would take it, it would taste like some Bach flower stuff. So we got wild oats, walnut, centauri, C-E-N-T-O-R-Y, crab, apple, gorse, and larch. So yeah, I will screenshot that on there for everyone to see. And I'm pretty sure that I went over everything um, from when I started to take it, what I felt, the, uh, the things that happened that I was not expecting, and neither was Thomas. We were both rather surprised and I guess if there's any questions I will answer and so when I first ordered this the beginning of last year like there wasn't very many products on the site but when you go to the site now it, there's like there's so many things that have been added that I really now that I know how well this stuff works I'm curious to go back and see what they have to try something else in the future. But um, to find this, you will have to actually put in McDowell's um, 
uterine prolapse mix because when I went to the site, I couldn't find it and there wasn't a search. And um, if I remember, I will put the link down specifically just for this. And I don't even get anything off of it. Like, I don't even think I made a, a an account when I ordered it. But all right. I hope I helped some ladies out out there. Gave you some hope because, yeah. And uh, hope everyone has a great day. And I will try to answer questions.